I've said it before that betrayal trauma is the only trauma that changes your past, present, and future. Other types of trauma, um, you know, death of a loved one, a tragic, you know, incident or occurrence that may very well um, disturb and disrupt your future or future thoughts. Um, betrayal trauma is the only one that really affects and changes our past, present, and future. Um, so your betrayed mind uh, forever has changed and the world is completely different now. The world, uh, you look at the world completely different. Your experiences in the world are completely different. People that <clears throat> go through betrayal trauma and are unhealed don't thrive. They simply survive. Um, however, people that go through betrayal trauma and do the hard work to heal, and I mean hard work because and it's not vigorous physical hard work of digging trenches. It's it's digging into that, you know, child within. It's 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 confronting the your inner demons. I mean, there's a lot of difficult work that goes with healing um, the wounds that come with betrayal trauma. But boy, when you do, you just don't thrive. I mean, you soar. So something to motivate you. Don't lock yourself in the bedroom. Don't uh, waste time putting yourself in a fetal position on the bed crying. Um, get rid of those narratives and the stories in your head and heal and do the hard work so you thrive and soar.